Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Almost exactly a year ago, I got two quarter pound extra value beef patties from my own personal adult playground. That's right, the Dollar Tree. The two quarter pound beef patties only cost a dollar because everything at the Dollar Tree only costs a dollar. That works out to be $2 a pound, which sounds like a pretty good deal. But like I explained in the original video, these are no bargain. If these were 100% ground beef, they would be a bargain, but they're not. Sure, their beef patties are all right, but they're beef patties with a whole bunch of fillers and other garbage in them. You can spend a little bit more and buy 100% ground beef, or in some cases, you can spend less for 100% ground beef. The bottom line is, you get what you pay for. And these two patties ended up not being worth the dollar they cost, which leads me to another so-called bargain store, Family Dollar, which is starting to give Dollar Tree a run for its money and be in my own personal adult playground. Lucky for me, my Family Dollar just expanded their frozen food section. So I'm finding all sorts of new frozen foods to try for you, the people, so you don't have to. While strolling through the frozen food section of my newly found playground, I found this 24 ounce box of restaurant quality beef patties that contain six quarter pound patties for $5.99. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your math lesson of the day. So please pay very close attention to this very difficult and mind numbing math equation. I'm only gonna go over it once. If the box costs $6 and there's six patties inside, how much does each patty cost? Please take your time. I know how difficult this can be. It's a very hard math problem. I haven't been a genius all my life. I used to struggle with math too. I remember way back in the first grade, calculus was a challenge. Have you figured out how much each patty cost yet? Let me explain it to you real quick. If the box costs $6 and there's six patties in the box, each patty costs a dollar. See, it was a very hard problem, but if you take your time, you can figure it out. So at a dollar a piece, that's twice as much as the Dollar Tree Extra Value Beef Patties. Since it costs twice as much, they should taste twice as good, right? Well, right off the bat, I have some good news. There's no TVP, beef hearts, or other unnecessary additives. The only ingredients are beef, water, spice, and salt. That right there to me is worth paying two times as much. The serving size is one patty. Per patty, there's 330 calories, 29 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, 1.5 grams of trans fat, 85 milligrams of cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, one gram of carbohydrates, less than one gram of fiber, less than one gram of sugars, and 17 grams of protein. Now there's four different ways you can cook these. On your grill, under the broiler, in a frying pan or in the microwave. Microwave? Who in their right mind would cook a burger or any kind of meat for that matter in a microwave? Anyone who cooks meat in a microwave is batshit crazy and should be force fed tofu and pickled pig lips. So with that said, I'm cooking mine in a frying pan. But first let's open up the box and see what they look like. And they look just like basic frozen hamburgers with a little bit of freezer burn. Now I'm gonna add the patties to a preheated skillet over medium high heat. Then after a few minutes, I added salt and pepper. Then after five minutes on the first side, I give them a flip. The burgers didn't get a whole lot of color. And that just tells me there's some added water to them. Because rather than browning, they're steaming. Which also means there's added water weight. So rather than quarter pounders, they're probably really only about three ounces of meat and an ounce of water. I don't know if it's that much or not, but that would just be a guess. I added some more salt and pepper. And then let them go for three more minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. After cooking for a total of eight minutes, I gave them one more flip to try to get a little bit of color on them. By that time, they were at 160 degrees. And then it was time to add the cheese. And no, that's not my hand, and those aren't my nails. You guys can believe what you want. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So now I did exactly what I did with the Dollar Tree Extra Value Burgers. I'm making a double quarter pounder with cheese. With a little bit of mustard and ketchup. Some dill pickles. One beef patty. the other beef patty,
and the top bun with more mustard, ketchup, and pickles. Some onions would have been nice, but I didn't have any. And there you have it, our family dollar, restaurant quality double quarter pounder with cheese. And I've got to admit, it doesn't look too bad. So I cut it in half to see what the inside looked like. And that actually looks like a nice juicy burger. Well at this point, the Family Dollar Restaurant Quality Quarter Pounders had my mouth water. There was only one thing left to do. Give it a bite and see how it tastes. And when I took my first bite, my eyes lit up. I was expecting the worst and hoping for the best. And I've got to say, I was really surprised. It's a juicy and it's a tasty burger. Comparing this burger to the Dollar Tree Extra Value Burger is like apples and oranges. This is far better than I expected it to be. Is it the best burger I've ever had? No. But it's also by far not the worst burger I've ever had either. The texture of the meat itself is a little bit firmer than you would expect in a hamburger. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's due to the quality of the meat. I'm sure it's not the very best meat. But I'm also pretty sure it's not the very worst either. This is one of those rare occasions when all of the food in the video gets eaten. I ate half of the burger and my wife ate the other half of the burger and we both actually enjoyed it. The third burger that was in the frying pan I wanted to try by itself. And to be honest, right now it looks like a McDonald's breakfast sausage patty. So I cut it in half and then I cut a little piece off to try. By itself, it doesn't look nearly as good as it did in the hamburger, but it also doesn't look too bad either. Taste-wise and texture-wise by itself, it was still good. But like I said, the texture of the meat is a little bit firm, not very typical of a normal hamburger, but it's 100% edible and it's pretty darn good. But like I've said many times before, food at the dollar stores is not a bargain. For example, this box of burgers works out to be $4 a pound. You can buy good ground beef all day, every day, for less than $4 a pound. So here's the question. Would I eat these again? Yes, I would. I enjoyed them that much. Would I ever buy them? No. I'd rather buy fresh ground beef for less money and make my own hamburgers. So with all of that said, I'm going to give the Family Dollar Restaurant Quality Quarter Pound Patties a 7 out of 10. That's much better than the 2 out of 10 I gave Dollar Tree's Extra Value Quarter Pound Beef Patties. So like the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. And that is true with dollar discount stores. These burgers were twice the cost, but they were all real meat and they were pretty darn good. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.